What's up, YouTube? Kyle Later, aka Smooth Flipper. In this video, we're going to talk about why it's important to have great customer service and patience. Now, in this business, you're going to deal with a lot of people who are very rude, who don't care about you or your profits. Uh, they just want money. So you have to kind of keep that in mind when you're when you're uh, buying phones and you know whether it's phones or or anything you're doing as far as reselling um keep in mind that the people who are selling these items don't care at all that you're trying to make a profit um a lot of times you know they get offended when you when you tell them hey you know i can't profit if i'm, if I'm gonna offer you 300 bucks for an item that is worth 300 bucks they don't like that so uh, that's why it's very important to you know have patience with people um you know if you're somebody who 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 cracks easily and and you know has anger issues that's something you might want to work on uh because you're going to deal with a lot of people who are going to call you names who are going to call you scammer um just because they're not getting you know the price that they want and those people are ignorant because they don't understand how things work uh, an example, you know, Walmart, you know, they have connections with all kind of, you know, manufacturers to where they can get their product for, you know, pretty much dirt cheap and turn around and sell it for five, 10 bucks. People don't complain to Walmart, um, about them trying to make a profit. They don't complain to Walmart about, you know, if they buy a, a $600 TV, from Walmart and you know Walmart bought that same TV for 300 they don't they don't um, think that way but when you try to do it you know you're on a smaller scale than Walmart when you try to do it it offends them uh, so keep that in mind you know and, and uh, there, there's a there's a particular situation that I want to go over in the video uh, which is you know what gave me the idea to create this video uh, a couple of days ago actually um, I was going to buy a 7 Plus, an iPhone 7 Plus, uh, 128 gigabytes, Verizon Unlocked. Um, and this person told me that the phone was, was clean as sin. Uh, it was in great condition. You know, no issues at all. All right, so we agreed to um, three, I believe, I believe we said 360. 360, I was going to sell it uh, either on eBay for about 570 or locally for 520 so we decided to meet up at a starbucks and mind you, this is pretty it's pretty late at this time it's probably about eight o'clock so it's dark in idaho around eight um and it was raining that day as well so that made, that made it even worse so i get there uh already ready before they get there you know get all my things out um, my tools to check the phones and you know just waiting for them um they come inside and it's three people so it's a a guy who's i've been talking to that was selling me the phone and there was two of his, uh, his fiance and one of his friends so from the from the start you know people people are you know timid when they meet people it's fine with me but from the start when they first got there i kind of got a bad vibe from the the, the fiance she first thing she said was the phone is cracked <laughs> just like that and i'm like okay so i get the phone and, and, and it is cracked and i'm like well um you know you didn't tell me that the phone was cracked and he was and he was like oh yeah i must have forgot about that it was a small crack on the it was a small crack at the bottom but a crack is a crack you know it's still gonna it's not worth the same obviously so um i'm like okay well i mean i can't offer you that price that we agreed on and i'm talking to the guy that i've been talking to and you know the lady comes in and says why not you know um we need the money right now why not? why can't you do that she didn't understand that you know um a crack on the phone is going to make the value of the phone go down so i was patient very patient with her um you know i i kindly said hey you know the the crack's gonna cost me money to fix even though i don't fix phones but the, I just told her in general, whoever buys this phone, I'm gonna have to fix it. Uh, and she just couldn't get in, get that in her head. So, long story short, um, I'm sitting I'm sitting down, and she's like standing up. So they're, you know, 
the guy that, I'm, that I've been talking with is sitting down across from me, and there's two people standing up, like, on the side. And, you know, she just proceeds to start yelling at me. <laughs> you know, um, you, you know, the, the, saying how BS this is, and, uh, you know, got in my face, you know, to a point where she was, like, she was, like, literally right here in my face yelling, like, this is your scammer, you know, you don't do good business, you know, I'll make sure you never, um, what she say, I'll make sure you never buy a phone here again or something like that and you know inside i'm i'm mad because uh nobody did anything about it as far as the people that she was with did not tell her like hey calm down you know um it's not that serious so i'm i'm inside i'm mad but i don't show it and i just say okay you know hand her the phone back and say okay thank you um thank you for your time sorry about you know the misunderstanding and I uh, hope you guys have a, you know, a nice day. I get my things and I go. Um, so, so that story is something that I want to want to share with you guys because you're going to get that a lot. You know, a lot is going to be um, thrown at you. And that's and a lot of it is via messenger or or, or, or on the phone. You're not going to have many people who, who are going to physically, you know, get in your face and, and yell at you in your face. Um, and if you've ever done customer service or anything like that, you kind of kind of get the idea of how customers are and how they act when they don't get their way. So um, that's something you guys want to keep in mind, you know, and, and at the end of the day, you might be mad, you might be whatever it is. It's customer service. You don't want to let one person ruin your business because if you react in a way, um, you know, if I was to get in her face and was yelling at her or or calling her, you know, all kind of names. That doesn't look good on me. That doesn't look good on the business um, that I'm trying to run. And I'm not gonna let one phone, you know, ruin the entire business. And that's how you guys want to be. Um, you know, there's sometimes in the group where you know we, we joke around and, and 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 go about what other people have said to us, and that's fine and all. But my my big thing is do not respond. You know, don't feed into that. Um, and, and just move on. You know, the best thing you can do is move on because if you were to respond, if you were to do whatever, people people screenshot things and, you know, they'll, they'll air it out. They'll say, this guy right here called me, you know, a uh, uh, derogatory word. Um, here it is. Here's his profile. Bam. And they're going to post out every single group that you post in. People are not going to do business with you anymore. So, you know, things like that happen. Um, be professional, be professional about it. You know, don't, don't, uh, stoop down to their level, you know, of, of ignorance and, you know, you know, go back and forth, you know, like little kids You just say, Hey, all right, I'm sorry about it. Apologize. Always apologize about it. Even though it may not have been your fault, apologize about it, about it, show that you are sincere and, uh, get up and, and leave the scene because you don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, so yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, and I've, you know, I've seen a lot of people have been dealing with, you know, different, uh, people who have been calling the names and, and who are, you know, not aware of how business works. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. This is our business. We have to, you know, uh, have great customer service. So if you did like the video, drop a like. Drop a comment if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video.